All right, time for a quick little update. It's been a while. Um, this summer, I'm gonna try to do the professional circuit in tennis again. Um, but now I'm gonna be much more prepared. Um, first of all, I'm actually going to follow the methodology that I teach my students in tennis. And also, well, I don't want to say uh, take my diet more seriously because I already have been, but I think I finally cracked the code um, for what actually works for me. I think you probably already know from last time that I told you that uh, that idea of eating only when you're hungry and eating only what you're craving. So I struggled with that last month because I didn't know what exactly was the difference between hunger and craving. So I actually got in like 20 pounds fatter. But anyways, this month I had the goal of of losing 20 pounds. And so far I'm, I think probably 10 pounds less or something like that. I have to measure. Anyways, um, the difference uh, between hunger and craving is that hunger is like the slight, slight pain or discomfort in your stomach, that feeling of emptiness while craving is the salivation that you feel in your mouth. So basically the, the new algorithm to follow is eat only when you're hungry and eat only until you stop feeling hunger. And as for cravings, only listen to your craving while you are hungry. So I don't really want to get so much into the detail of what that means but basically craving is the what the body instinctually knows what it needs the kind of nutrients it needs so that's something important to follow if you want to be more of a um have a high performance body which is what i'm going for now this summer so yeah apart from that Sleeping only when you're tired and waking up when you stop feeling tired. And then after that is Yeah, pretty much pretty much just that. And in terms of exercise, it's just doing the fucking work. <laughs> There's no way around it. So yeah, that's the latest update that I have right now. And I'll see you next time.